what's up guys, it's Tony Edwards here. If I went back to when I first started real estate in 2009 and, and had the same knowledge as I have now with zero dollars, what would I do? Would I change anything or would I do something differently? Hey, what's up guys, it's Tony Edwards here. Look, I, I have a video I really want to break down to you because this is super important. A lot of people ask me this and I want to put this on the camera. And that is, if I went back to when I first started real estate in 2009 and, and had the same knowledge as I have now, but zero dollars, what would I do? Would I change anything or would I do something differently? Like but have the same knowledge if I, as if what I have now and take it back to my 2009 when I first started? That's a great question, all right? So what we're gonna do, when I first started in 2009, right? I had, uh, man, 560 credit score. <clears throat> I had about $200 in my name, liquid, right? I was about $30,000 in credit card debt staying home with mommy and daddy. Well, I went back home to mommy and daddy because my staying home mom, they put parents, parents, because house I lived in got foreclosed on. House got foreclosed. Ooh. Talk about some pressure. And then you gotta add the fact that I was a single dad. So I had that on I had that weighing on my shoulders as well. Single pops. I had a son. I had a son coming out of high school. So I had to handle him, take care of him. I didn't want to be a deadbeat, right? So you know, I went wanted to be, provide as much as I can. Um, but if I had the knowledge that I have now and take that with me back in 2009, right? I would not wholesale, right? I would, well, I would still wholesale, but I wouldn't focus on wholesaling primarily, right? So I was, in 2009, I was wholesaling properties. We, I mean, we're talking about a different era, right? To, to find a wholesale deals. And within wholesaling, I was putting out 100 bandit signs on average. Um, about a, a hundred banner signs a week, about three to four hundred banner signs a week. Some some week I made it was just a little short, so three to four hundred. Uh, I'm sorry, three to four hundred a month. Um, but some months it was I was doing a hundred a week, on like a pop. Um, I was also intertwining when I had deals under my belt. I had some money, so I was doing direct mail. I was doing um, writ handwritten yellow letters. I was using yellowletterscomplete.com. Um, direct mail. And now this was a lot of fucking work. This was a lot of fucking work. In 2009, this was the, the great recess, recession. There was very little competition. I mean, I, and I was also finding wholesale deals on the MLS. I mean, in this era from 2009 to 2012, 13, I'll say 2009, 2012, you can find deals on the MLS as a wholesaler. They say the purchase price was $100,000. You put in the ARV was 200, right? And it needed 20K of repairs. You could put full price 100K and then wholesale it for 115 to an end buyer and they would not, and your end buyer would be happy, right? That That is far gone, by the way. I would not focus on wholesaling, right? What I would do right now, if I knew what I knew now, is focus on finding not the wholesale deals, but finding private money. If I knew what I knew now, and took that back, took took my knowledge way back to 2009 and started with zero, and knew what I know now, I would focus on private money. Why? You might be asking why. It's because once you have the private money or access to the private money, Hey, stop. I got a question for you. Do you feel like a lack of funds is holding you back in real estate investing? Maybe you're a wholesaler, 
a flipper, a real estate agent watching this video, or somebody who's looking to get started in real estate, this is the video for you. Look, let me tell you about the power of private money lending. And what is private money? Private money is an individual like you and I that just have money sitting in their bank account and it could be IRA, 401k, or even mattress money until you come into the play, right? You come and you convert that person to a private money lender and they fund your deals. People that have money sitting in their bank account, IRA or 401k, are looking for a safe and secure investment vehicle to put their money because it's sitting in the bank account getting less than 1%, 401k or IRA getting two to 3% at best, or even mattress money getting 0%. That is, that is no way to grow your money. So with real estate and with you and I as real estate investors and we're buying properties for flips or buying properties for rentals and cash flow, they need us and we need them. So it's a win-win situation when you come in and you convert these people into private money lenders. And how I'm able to do this is with my private money credibility kit. And what this is, this allows or gives that private money lender an understanding of how their money is protected, the, the closing process, and also the return they're gonna get and all the paperwork that's involved with them being a private money lender on your deal. So if you want this, I'm giving this away for free. You can click the link below. And what's also special about a private money lender, unlike traditional bank finance, or also unlike hard money lender, private money lender doesn't care about your credit score. They don't care about any W-2s. They don't ask for tax returns, none of that. They just care about the deal, their return, and how their money is protected. And this private money credibility kit is converting me all the private money lenders that I need to get my deals funded and I wanna help you out. Click the link below or go to Private Money Made Easy and I'll see you on the other side. The deals come to you. What I mean by that? All you got, you, you, you're gonna instantly gain, when the deals come from your private money, you're gonna instantly gain confidence for one, right? You're gonna start putting in more offers on the, from the MLS. You're gonna be putting offers on the MLS. <clears throat> um, maybe not full price offer like I said earlier, what, what you could do in 2009, but you're gonna be putting more profits on the MLS. So there's a lot of, in this market in 2024, there's a lot of price cuts. So I'm gonna focus on properties that's 90 days or more in the market that are sitting there. That means the sellers, or whether it's the bank or, or a regular seller, they are motivated to sell these properties. I know I got private money. I know I can take these properties down. I'm gonna like lowball them. And so I can, if I'm trying to wholesale it, I'm gonna lowball them. And I'm able to take these properties down with private money and hold and, and not, not sign them, but I can close on them using private money because majority of the time these MLS properties you cannot assign them you need money whether it's your money private money whether you're getting uh, hard money whatever the case may be you need money but if you have that private money lined up right you can take these properties down with confidence and you could put an offering on these properties with confidence because you know you have your call away or email away from your private money lender or private money lenders right um another reason reason why i'll focus on the on the private money is because once you can put on with this whole social media game you can go and put a message out on these these real estate investing groups and there's so many groups my my group is my group is slow flip formula by the way if you want to join go ahead and join for free we do a lot of activity but just say you go into a group and you give them your buy box hey I have, two, you know, I just use the numbers. I have 250K right now. Here's my buy box. I'm looking for this, pro this many properties with, with, no, I'm looking for five uh, 50K properties in these markets. Send me some deals. You know, you said that with certainty, with confidence that you can get it done because you have access to the private money. But when I was wholesaling, I was going into these properties in hopes that I will find an end buyer because I didn't have the money to take these down. And I look back and I'm like, shit, man, some of these properties that I, I wish I could have took down because some sometimes you want to buy these properties with private money and literally the next day you close, you put them on the MLS because you'll get way more than what you would have sold it to an end buyer off market. So the on market properties, once you put it on the market, you can get more, but, some, but a lot of times you have to buy it with money. So with private money, you can do that. You can make a lot more money, you gain more confidence, you have more certainty, and you feel more like a boss because you're like, yeah, I'm, I put in six offers a day. I put in 10 offers this week. I put 20 offers this week 
right? And you know you can take these properties down if you get an offer accepted. So I would focus on the private money. Same as if you're watching this video, you're focusing on deals. You're, you're, you're doing cold calling, you're doing direct mail, you're doing PPC ads, you're doing text blasts, right? You use artificial intelligence to find your leads, or whatever it may be. That same energy you're using to find the deals, transfer that same energy to finding the private money. Now, how do you find the private money? Social media. Let people know, hey, I could pay you 12% of your money. I have a, have, if anybody looking for 12%, send me a DM, right? You can get a list. Use a magic property leads where, where you can get a list of private money leads. Send a direct mail out. You can send a text blast out to these private money leads, right? And raise private money just as if you were using the deal. So, out guys, if I went back, I would focus on private money over private money over finding deals because the deals will come to you somehow in some magical way i don't know if it's manifestation law of attraction the deals come to you when you have that private money right think about it as you if you're wholesaling properties and flipping properties you know who got the money you you you're, you're sending it to those top five ten buyers because you know they got the money right think about that that's that's just a it's a psychological thing right so I will focus on the private money. So if you want to learn about private money, right, click the link in my description right now or go to privatemoneymadeeasy.com. Get my private money credibility kit. Guys, I'm raising private money on a weekly basis. I have more private money sitting right now than the deals that's coming to me, which is a great problem to have, but I'm out there like a boss and I have the, the confidence when the deal come, I'm taking that shit down. And I want you to, to have that same certainty and confidence in your real estate investing business, right? So subscribe to this channel right now if you haven't already. Click the link in the description. Get that free credibility kit right now by going to Private Money Made Easy. I'll see you in the next video.